Hello and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover photos and how you can interact with them and use them within your timeline on Final Cut Pro. So let's go ahead and open up our project here which is in our tutorial event, Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorial. And uh, in the previous tutorials we actually covered how to add video effects and then we added audio effects. I'll let you guys hear my alien audio effect here. Now that might have been quite a uh, really low volume, but there is an audio effect in there. And then we have this other clip <clears throat> that we're actually not gonna use the full clip. And we're gonna select it and hit Command B right at this section here, just to get rid of this other extra section. So let's go straight into photos. You can import photos simply by dragging and dropping them straight into your event. Uh, for example, my tutorial event here, or you can uh, drag and drop them to your uh, into your project um, timeline. So what we're going to do also, you can go to this little option here to the right where it says show and hide photos browser. Go ahead and open that up. And then also you can drop down this from the photos and drop down this little option. You can find uh, photos based on a category and uh, also on your iCloud. But for now, we're just going to go all photos. We're going to scroll down and we're going to find this flower photo here. I'm going to simply drag it and drop it straight over here next to my uh, um, the other um, the other video clip and then it goes straight into the photo here. It automatically crops it to the correct size, but you can go into the inspector tab here, right here to the right, click on that and go to, it says, it says video, but it's actually a photo. <clears throat> and then you can go ahead and go to the crop pane here. Go ahead and click on this little option, um, the little square, the cropping option. And from here you can either choose trim, crop, Ken Burns, we're just going to crop and we want to just just get the flower portion in the very top. Now just to let you guys know, make sure the way you can tell if you hit the top exactly, at the very top here you'll be able to see like 0% or pixels. Um, yeah, pixels, If the where it says at the top, zero, 0 pixels, that means you've hit the top. See, now you're above it. Now you're uh, on it, and then, then you're below, I mean, in, into the photo. So we want top to be zero right there. That means it's at the, we're at the right at the top. When you're done cropping, go ahead and hit done. Now we have a cropped image here as just the way we wanted it. Um, also, you can also go ahead and import additional images if you have additional images. I think I already have one in my project here. And uh, as soon as you import it into your timeline, it'll go straight to your project uh, event photos. We have this photo which we're going to drag and drop in right next to our uh, flower photo. And we're also going to crop this one real quick. Um, you got to make sure that this line here is over it that we can see the cropping. We're going to go to crop and we're going to go to the top, which should be zero. Hit done. And now we have two cropped images side by side. We also can tell that the the actual photo itself is four seconds long and this photo is four seconds long. Let's say we want to change the duration of this clip of these uh, two photos at the same time. We can go ahead and click on them. We can uh, right click or uh, if you're using a touchpad like I am, you can just put two fingers on the touchpad and then press N. It will, it will give you this little option here is change duration. And then all you have to do, you'll notice that this all changes to zero. Go ahead and just change it. We want both of these photos to be two seconds long. So we're gonna put two, and then we're gonna put a period. It just automatically puts it to two seconds. Hit enter. Now you'll notice that both of the photos changed to two seconds long. Now, for example, let's say we wanted to add another uh, flower photo right after this, and uh, we wanted to change both those, all three of those photos to a different, um, to a different size or a different length. And let's say we want all four, three of those photos to be five seconds. You can simply drag and select and it will select those photos. Or let's say you're dealing with hundreds of photos all within this timeline. You can hit Command A and it will select everything within your timeline, which is very useful as well. And uh, having these three photos selected, we're going to change the time um, of them, the length of them as well. You can just go ahead and right click on, on it. And I'm going to change duration. There's also the shortcut key here to the right, and that is a Control D. You can go ahead, and I'm going to show you guys that now. You can hit Control D, and I'll bring it up the same window where you can change the duration of the actual uh, images. And we're going to change them all to five seconds long. So we're going to hit five, period, enter, and whoops, I actually clicked somewhere else. I'm going to just select them again, hit Control D. 
five period enter and we'll notice that all five of these images are now five seconds long just the way we wanted them now you can also drag these images on top for example let's grab this flower photo and we can drag this image uh, right on top of our actual video clip and you'll notice that it's right over right over our, our actual video just picture in picture basically from here you can actually crop it it automatically gives you the option to well this isn't cropping this is actually adjusting the image as you can see you can do several different things with it. it actually makes it look like as if it's 3d but uh, we're not going to go get into that just yet you know like i said you can do several different options uh, we're going to just do the cropping here and uh, we want to crop it again i'm going to crop it right in the center just like just like that and it, now you notice that it takes it's taking up the full thing so we're going to go over to the transform and we're going to change the they're going to click on the little tri, the rectangle box right here right next to the hide option Go ahead and select that, and that will let you adjust it so that it fits perfectly into the actual um, footage clip here. And we want just a little this this little flower here to take the place of the Final Cup Pro emblem. Now put it in there, and then we're also we're gonna go to the image and we're gonna go to the right at the end of it, and then drag it all the way across this final clip, and then all the way across here. Now now when people watch this clip, let's say play it you'll notice that instead of the Final Cut Pro um, emblem up here, you'll see the flower at all times all throughout this clip, which is uh, quite and cool. That's the basics of photos, you guys, how to import them and how do you can edit them, basically. If have any questions or comments in the comments section, put it in the comments section below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover um, audio, I mean sound effects. And other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to make a further tutorial with further details regarding um, photos if you'd like me to and uh, thank you catch you guys next tutorial later so let my life